Hello, welcome. Question 13. If the mean and the variance of 1, 9, x, 6, y, and 8 are 6 and uh, 2, 6 whole number 2 and 3 respectively, we have to find the value of x. This is similar to what came to the Nigerian, but the Nigerian have a standard deviation. So we know that if I'm dealing with the mean, which is x bar, it is sigma x on what? n. So this, what I need, I can still say that this is the same as what? n times this equals to sigma what? x. So right away, n means the number of items, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 6 multiplying the mean for the question, giving us what? 6 equals to the summation, which is 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 8, plus x, plus y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This will give you 36. This will give you 10. So 24, right? Is that it? This is uh, 14. So 24 plus x plus y. We can have our x plus y equals to this 36 minus what? 24. So I think fast forward. This will be 12, right? If you look at it carefully, that will be your first equation. We can't do anything about that since the x and y are not known. Then for variance, right? I will use the word variance, okay? Uh, let's say this equals to the summation of x and the mean division square divided by n. Just like we did here, we can have n variance equals to summation of the deviation in the number, right? So first thing we need to do is to find the deviation in each of the numbers. Uh, if I pick the first number, uh, let's say I have 1 minus 6. Let me have the square of that exactly. And if we do that, okay, let me come down. 9 or should I just add all of them together to conserve space? I think that will help. Let's go directly. So here, I have my 6 multiplying the variance, which is given as um, 6 whole number this. This will be 18. So we're having 20 on 3. So that will be... 20 divided by 3 is equals to, let's take the deviation with the summation at 1. So that means that as you have 1 minus 6 all square plus 9 minus 6 all square x minus 6 all square plus 6 minus 6 all square y minus 6 square and 8 minus what? 6 square. I think that will give us the, the space we want to conserve. Remember, this is multiplying divided. So 3 go here, 1 go here, 2. 2 times that will give you 40. So 40 equals 2. In that first bracket, it's going to be minus 5. If you square minus 5, you come back to a positive value. So we have 25 plus that will be three and three square will be nine then let me come to this place will give you zero and they come here will be two right if it is two it will be four plus x minus six all square plus uh y minus six all square okay so what did we do let's skip this one and have our 40 minus let's add all of them this is going to be 13 38 equals to the x minus 6 all square y minus 6 all square i think this will give you x minus 6 squared plus y minus 6 all square equals to 2 as our equation 2 Alright, so these two equations are made up of x and y. So we need to 
make uh, one the subject in equation one. So I can say that from equation one, let y equals to 12 minus what? x. So everywhere I see y, I am going to introduce 12 minus x. So let's see our x minus 6 square into bracket 12 minus x minus 6 all square equals what? 2. Can we expand? Here, if you expand, first number square, that will be x square. Twice their product, that will be 12x plus what? 36. That is square the first, twice their product, square the last. Then in the second place, if I perform this word, it will be 12 minus what? Uh, 6. That will be 6. So we still have 6 minus, let me put this over here, it's going to be 6 minus what? x all square. And 6 square will give you 36. Twice their product will be negative 12x. Then you square the last. That will be plus what? x squared. All this will be giving us what? The value of what? 2. So what do we do? We can group like terms. Uh, the x squared are all on the same side. Minus 12, minus 12 will be an increase. 36 will also be increased. So let's clean here and see what that will be. So from here, we can have 2 x squared as in this and this minus 12 minus 12 will become minus 24 x this plus this will be 60 72 so we have plus 72 all on this side minus 2 equals 0 this minus this 2 coming in giving you 2 x squared 24 x this will be plus 70 equals to 0. We can see 2 being a factor. So we have our x squared, 12x, 35 equals to 0. So here we need two factors of 35 positive. When we add, we get the value of what? Negative 12. And I think that will be minus 7 and minus what? 5. So we open bracket equals to 0. x minus 7, x minus 5. So if x is going to be minus 7 equals 0, or x minus 5 equals what, 0. If you transpose, your x will be 7 or what, 5. So the value of x is 7 or 5. But remember, you're looking for both x and what, y. So let's see, uh, we have gotten x. So we can find y from here. So when x equals to 7, let's see, your y will not become 12 minus what? 7. We give us what? 5. And uh, when x equals to, what do we have? 5. y will also be 12 minus 5 equals what? 7. So here, the values are going to be alternating. So we can only say that, therefore, uh, what value can we have? x equals to the first part 7, uh, if x is 7, and y will be equals to what, 5. That is 7, y is 5, or x equals to 5, and y equals to what, uh, 7. So they are changing their position. For the one that came from Nigeria, there was a restriction that x is bigger than what, I think x is less than what? y. So it would have been x less than y. This would have been your only answer. x equals to 5, while y equals to what? 7. I believe this is also clear. You can compare it with what came for the Nigerian and see the contract between the two. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and come back for question 14.